Tulikuja hapa ukabani. Tukaambia nyinyi. Huyu mzee akitenda vidi hakuna pahali anaenda tutamwangusha. Tukamwambia hii mzee akitenda vidi amekosea wakamba heshima. Amechukua kalonzo mzioka kiongozi ambaye tunaheshimu. Amekuwa makamu yake miaka mingi amempeleka interview kumuuliza anaitwa nani kama ameoa na kumwaibisha. Baada ya hiyo aibu yote kwa wakamba mkafuata yetu. You still followed this man. Sasa mheshimiwa hii mzee ameita nyinyi pale kwa kalonzo nyumbani. Anamdanganya mchana na mnapiga makofi. Ati Kenya atinaweza kuwa gawa mara mbili atikuwe na marais wawili. Ni uongo si uongo? Why do you believe lies during the day? Haiwezekani ati Kenya ingawa mara mbili atikuwe marais wawili. Sio ni ndoto ya mchana. It is not possible. And you leaders from the Ukambani nation, you follow this man blindly mkijua ni uongo. Kama hiyo mzee amechoka kukaa Kenya, siaondoke peke yake. Kenya iendelee. There's no problem. Akitaka kutoka, atoke aende. Ukweli ni kwamba amejaribu mara tano. Akuje ajaribu mara ya sita. Kweli ni kwamba mheshimiwa umesema vizuri ya kwamba unataka usaidizi kwa shule hii. Unataka usaidizi kwa Kitui High School. Unataka usaidizi kwa Mlago Girls na ni sawa. Umesema pia unataka tujenge barabara kutoka Kibwezi mpaka Mwingi. Umesema pia tujenge Uma Dam. Hiyo yote tutafanya. Lakini pesa ya kufanya lazima tuchukue kwa wale wako naye. Sasa mheshimiwa ukienda kupinga finance bill, hiyo dam haitajengwa. Hiyo barabara haitajengwa. Hii pesa natuuliza kwa shule hii tutatoa wapi? Mimi ni mkulima mdogo. Mshahara yangu iko, hawezi tosha. Ya William Ruto hawezi tosha. Wacha tuambiane ukweli. Lazima tuchukue ushuru ya kufanya maendeleo. Hapa ukambani tuko na shida kubwa sana ya maji. Na hapa ukambani Mungu amejipatia nyinyi rotuba nzuri. Na watu wako na BD ile natakikana ni madamu ya kutosha tupate maji ya irrigation tupate chakula ya kutosha tumesema hiyo maneno ya kukopa haiwezekani tena kwa sababu ukijipata kwa shimo ndani huwezi kuendelea kuchimba unasimamisha kuchimba ndio uangalie vile unaweza fanya nini sasa tusipochukua ushuru mheshimiwa itabidi tukope na tukikopa lazima tulipe na hiyo ni maneno hawezekani. So ni mzuri pia tukipata nafasi. Hata kama mnataka kufurahisha wananchi kwa sababu watu saidi zaidi wanataka kutoa. That is normal. Hata askofu anajua. Hata pale kwa offering inakuwaga na kibarua. So hii lugha ya kuambia watu wasitoe ni ya kufurahisha watu. Lakini uwezi ambia watu wasitoe at the same time waobe barabara, waobe maji, waombe shule zitengenezwe itakuwa haina maana because unaongea na lugha mbili kwa kwa one side unasema watu wasitoe ushuru then unasema tunataka maji tunataka barabara mashule iko shida then how do we do it let's be truthful we have come because we have a responsibility as leaders to develop our country and there is need hata hao viongozi wa waipa wakitembea kwa hii shule they will be embarrassed wamekuwa kwa uongozi miaka mingi hii shule inakaa hivi they should come to this school wajenge kwa sababu hii shule ni hapa sisi tumetoka mbali tumekuja kujenga they are not here wako na mshahara si afadhali hata wakati wa hiyo 3% kwa sababu hata harambe wataki kutoa si wacha tukata hiyo watu pesa kwa sababu wakiambiwa atoe kwa hiari yao hawezi toa. Sasa hiyo watu yote iko na pesa. They are not here. It is my belief that kama wataki kuja kwa sababu tuko hapa, tukiondoka, priest wako hapa, bishop wako hapa, wakusanye pesa walete tujenge shule hii. Kwa sababu hii ni shule ya nyumbani. And charity begins at Yeah. If you people want to lead the Kaba nation into opposition for the fourth time that is your decision hakuna mtu atakataza nyinyi kwa sababu Kenya ni nchi ya demokrasia 
Mulifuata huyo mzee 2013 mkaanguka. Mkamfuata 2017 mkaanguka. Mkamfuata 2022 mkaanguka. Unajua ukipanda maharagwe na haimei. Upande tena haimei. Upande mara ya tatu. Si unabadilishwa na pana mahindi. So is a decision the leadership of this region has to take. For how long does the leadership of Ukambani want the region to remain in opposition? That is a decision you have to make as leadership. From where I sit, this region needs to be in government because of the issues surrounding this region, Mabo ya Maji, Mabo ya Barabara, Mabo ya Kilakitu. This is a region that needs to be in government. Tujaribu kujenga hii shule. We'll do what we can. And uh, the ministry itafanya vile itawezekana. Na tutaendelea. But this is a good school. Na vijana nataka kupongeza nyinyi. For your good discipline. Na good performance. Vile waziri ya mesema. Tujaribu tusukume hii performance. Past 10. Sindio? Sitasukuma vijana? People, we must collect taxes to finance our development expenditure, to finance our recurrent expenditure. Juzi, muna sema hamuna walimu ya kutosha. Tumeandika 35,000 teachers. We need to pay them. Tunataka kuandika wegine 35,000 next year. Lazima tuwalipe. Hiyo pesa itachukuliwa kwa wananchi. That is the truth. So, as much as tunapika siyasa na kufanya maada mano na kuweka sufuria kwa kichwa, ni sawa. But you must also be truthful to the people that if you don't collect taxes, there will be no development. That is the truth. So the choices are there.